Hello and welcome to this new series. This is just a hack around the Vlasic Bosnian map by Selabuki just to make up time until FS25 comes out. So we're just going to have, have a bit of fun just simply play the game right from the beginning and just see where it goes. I will still be doing the Kalabach series, Heritage Contractors, we'll play that out also until at least the end of the month. So just a bit of a bit of interim fun before we go into the hecticness of a new map or of a, of a new farming simulator. Of farming simulator 25 is what I really mean. Yeah. Okay. Enough gavel. We're going to just get started. Let's just quickly look and see where we are. Right. So that's where we are, and that's what we own 59 and 43. So we'll go and check those out. Um, Looks like the town area around about there. There's a lot of delivery points down there. Not sure whether we can get through to our second field down the bottom there. I suspect not. I suspect we'll have to go a long way around for now until we've made some sort of road down there. We'll have a look at that as well. So we're playing on new farmer mode. Let's have a quick look and see what we start with. Um, where we, there we go. And so small tractors. We've got the class 660. That's a nice little small tractor actually. It's got a reasonable amount of power, 200, 205 horsepower. Then we have the Fint, quite an old Fint. Well, older model Fint, 150 horsepower. I think it's probably right for this size map. And then medium tractors, 170 horsepower. That's okay. We'll we'll be able to work with that, I think. Um, harvester, reasonable for the size of fields by the looks of things. Trailer, little bit small, I feel, but it's probably be okay for the size of field again. Header. Good for the for the harvester that we've got, but ideally would have liked something a little bit wider, but once again it's probably adequate for the size of field. Cultivator, yeah. Pretty much the same as everything here. It's it's right for the size of field without being spectacular. Which is probably what you want really. Sprayer, that's good. Fertilizer. I would like that to have done lime because we don't have a lime spreader, so that's probably going to be one of our first purchases. But once again, let's just go and have a look and see. So we've got wheat in that field and wheat in that field. We've they're both ready for harvest, so that's going to be our first action, and that's probably going to be our action for this episode is to get the harvest in. And the other thing that we'll do is get the harvest in and get the chickens going. So that's going to be our, our aim for this, this first episode. So I didn't do a, um, a new map first day series on this one just because I decided that this was going to be my last little series map. As I said it's it's basically a hack around. We didn't really look around the farm did we? We'll have a quick look once we've once we've got the harvest going load that. I think we can get through the top area between the light post there and the gate to get into that field. 
I didn't go through the other way because it looked very tight to get the whole trailer through there. So we may still have to do that, you never know. Okay, so the first uh, a new map first day will start on, will be the first thing that I do on FS25. There'll be the first three, three maps, or will two maps because I think the Eastern European one is one that we already know so yeah we'll start off there let's probably start off with the um, with the new Asian map just because it'll be quite a bit more different maybe uh, two or three episodes on that map just to have a look around and then we'll start on the um, the American map but that's uh, all for the future. Right now, I'm going to get this started, put it onto a worker, and then we'll go and have a look around the farm. So let's uh, open that up. What is the capacity of the of the harvester? Nine thousand three hundred liters. Yeah. So. Uh, Two and a bit loads to fill up the trailer. Um, start that. We'll just get onto the field and then we'll set course play. Oops, we want to. Um, we want to. At least. Uh, swathing so we will create a job course play that looks good and we'll set it with three headlands and generate it's generated a reasonable course and start the job right let that go and we'll go and quickly have a look at the at the farm itself so we've got chickens which we're going to try and get going right so we'll go and have a look and see the chickens see what's happening there how many chickens can we get in here? 500. So we'll put maybe 100 in there to get started. They can breed. Yeah, that looks nice. Nicely detailed. It's a Celebuki map. Of course it's going to be nicely detailed. I don't think we've got anything in the silo. No, the silo is empty. Like the sort of ramp effort it all just looks right slightly rusted and yeah you know a working farm it's the log shed does it open i don't think so no. so cultivator and planter i think we sleep here and i think we Got a wardrobe at the back there. What do we have in here? So we've got a fent favourites. So that's what it what is that 150 horsepower? Cedar. Um that's cedar. Does, does that not need a front? I think that might need a, f uh, a front tank. Not sure. And this is a fertilizer. Yeah, it doesn't do lime. Sprayer. And the class 660. Nice little powerful small tractor. 
then over here we've got the Messi, the older Messi, and trailer. Right, so we do have cows. We're a cow barn. We don't have any cows. Let's just see how many cows we can do. 150. Got a nice little area up the front here. It's not big enough to really mow or anything like that. So I don't think we've got any grass fields. Let's check that out. I don't think we've got anything else on the map. Some nice little forestry areas by the looks of things at the side there. Not really my game. Actually, I must try and do a forestry. If nothing else, just to teach myself, force myself to learn it. <laughs> I did do a, a lot of forestry on Silver Run when that came out. And I quite enjoyed it. But I've kind of got away from it again. Right, so that's the farm I think we can put off the interactive markers for now. Right, let's get the trailer out and go and see if we need to load up any or empty out the harvester. It's been, oh, I just missed the notification over there. Oh, why has it just missed that whole edge? Oh, that's... That's not good. Could be where we started it from. In any case, we'll have to tidy that up. There's corners there to be tidied up. Missed the edges there. Missed the edges there. Hmm. So I'll have to have a little talk to the worker. I suspect we can be chasing along. Too close, too close. There we go. So we've got to kind of judge when this will be empty with 9,000 odd litres. I don't know whether we'll empty before we have to go through this turning operation here, which is never pretty. No, there we go, 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 oh no. I don't think I've ever made it around the corner. <laughs> there we go. I think after we've done this maybe we'll just ride with the the worker and get some long shots about where our farm is and as we go around harvesting just take some long shots I can fly up into the air and do it but hey. We'll do this until we get to the top of the effort and then we'll let it go again. Should really do it until it's full. Until the grain trail is full of course. Actually I think I will do that. We'll do it on a time lapse and we'll get through to you once once it's done.
Well, you're back with me. Just about at the end of the third headland, so once that is finished, probably just around the corner here, we will um, go and offload this into the. We'll go right from there. Got 82% in the trailer. We'll go and offload this into the. Oh, it's struggling up here. It's quite hilly. Look, we seem to be on uh, some sort of hilltop here. Um, so, as I was saying, before I so rude, rudely interrupted myself, we'll go and offload this into the chicken coop. Fill that up. And then we'll put the rest into the silo. And then we'll get some chickens going nice and quick should have some eggs fairly quickly so we are playing at five times speed we are playing with precision farming so we will need to spend some money to analyze these fields and having said that I was thinking about precision farming and didn't offload into the chicken coop, which I think is just pretty much straight back. Yep, there we go. I don't think it'll take this full load. It's taken quite a bit. It's taken about twelve, fifteen thousand liters. Didn't really pay attention, but we'll off-road the rest in here, and then we'll go and buy some chickens. Let's get this to the gate, and then we'll just jump out here and go and check out the chickens. Harvest is still working. We're going to have to do quite a bit of tidying up there. We're doing a very untidy job, to be honest. Oh, there's some lights here. Outside lights. Might be automatic. Is anything? Left to turn. Oh, there we go. Shed light. Inside light. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Yeah. Right, where were we? We're going to, so we need a rooster. I only need one of those. We'll buy that. Yep. Oh, we can put some ducks in here as well. Chicken male, chicken female. Oh yeah, I've got the uh, uh, enhanced animal mo mode on, so yeah, we can do chicken female. We'll so let's get let's get fifty of those. Where we now select and sixty we'll get fifty of those. And we will then get the female ducks. 
cost the same, so... Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look and see. We didn't get a drake though, did we? Yeah, some ducks and some chickens. We haven't got any water for the ducks though. Need to get a drake as well. Uh, duck mail. There we go. We don't need 50 of those. Only need one of those. And there we go. That could be it there, I don't know. In any case, that's chickens and ducks going. That's good. Only at 10 o'clock on the first day and we've got chickens, ducks, we've got enough food in there for them. Got harvester going. If we go down to the bottom there, we might be able to meet up with it. If it did, if it's not going to fill up already before it gets there. Let's run across and jump into the harvester. 72% full. Yeah, if we just take it all the way out, you know, we can kind of have a look and see where we fit in. So that field directly ahead of us with wheat in it is ours. But I don't think we can get through the bottom there without making a new road. It is a road that I think runs along the farm on the other side of this field. So there is a way to get to get to get there. Back to the farmyard. The town area down there. Really compact. Good looking map. Right, let's see if we can, can start offloading some stuff on the way up here. Let's see if we can do a bit of a better chasing job than we did in the last one. And we'll catch you once we've got a nearly full load again. Right, you're back with me. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to go and lease a a, a mower. I'm going to put it onto the class and I'm going to start mowing some fields or grass because some um, we seem to have a lot of meadow around us that can produce some grass, so we can probably get a couple of cows going. So let's quickly go and pop down to the shop, have a little trip down to the shop and get a mower. I think first of all I'm going to have to take this out of the way because this is the field that I want to mow. And we'll make some start we'll get started on making some hay and silage. Let's just pull this to the other side of the road here. Right, so let's go. Let's go down to the shop now. I think the shop is if we go back to the map. 
the shop is we are is the farm there there we are there so it's up the road main road first right one two and then third right again i think the shop is down there There we go, get onto the right map. Might help us out. There we go, go the shop's down there. Yep. Okay, let's go and get that done quickly. And hopefully by the time we get back, the, the harvest will be full and just perhaps even just about finish that field and we'll just go and tidy up that field. But we'll get that started. It's quite a nice bit of meadow land there for grass. Have to look to see how much that costs. It's this little area here. It's almost like the whole verge of the side of the road. It's only twenty thousand. We're going to think about that to get that bit of grassland. Put a lot of houses on here. So this is the main road through the whole area. It wasn't that one. Didn't notice that down. I think the turn off is actually down at the bottom here. Just near where those blue flags are. Yeah, not a very big map, I think. But if I just look at the roads, it looks like it's kind of blocked off that you can't... that you still have to travel, so it makes it feel bigger than it actually is. It's the trick of the map makers, I think. Brilliant people that they are. I'm not sure whether that's is it probably bakery. Yeah, it looks like it in terms of the pictures. Don't read Bosnian unfortunately or it looks like it could be the dairy. There's another nice big grass field there. So there's plenty of meadow land to and another one over there to be mowing. Right. So what type of mower are we going to buy? Let's have a quick look. Reminds me of the the shop on um, um, what is it called? No man's land. Mowers. What have we got? Nothing really cheap. I got that. Thirteen thousand and twenty-five thousand and nine thousand. Thirty odd thousand for more. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe we'll just lease those. Let's just see what it costs to lease. 1,200. 
And we'd have to lease the other one as well. And that would be a lease. 1,600, what would it cost to lease? My favorite, 2,600, I was saving 1,000, so we'll lease that. And we'll lease that. And it should be outside, I would think. Oh, that's going out the wrong way. Yeah, but we'll just keep that on. At least for a couple of days. Get the cars going as soon as we can as well. Get this back to the farm and then we'll go and check up on the. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to have to leave my weight down here. Just need to remember where I've left it. Goodness me. Yeah, it's finished. <laughs> That was a rookie mistake. I think I actually picked it up on purpose. <laughs> I know I must probably thought I was gonna get the I must probably thought I was gonna get this. Um that's why I put the the weight on. But I didn't realise it was it was as expensive as it is to lease. I thought I was going to get that. The EL, ELHO. But yeah, we save a thousand this way. We just got to remember to pick up our weight, otherwise, we lose that thousand gain that we get. Hopefully, we can control this around the area. Areas there, I mean, there's a lot of trees in the way, so and a lot of slopes. We'll just have to see how it goes. But it would be silly not to make use of that meadowland to feed some cows. Don't think with the available meadowland that we have along, we will be able to have more than maybe 10 cows or something like that. Give us some milk. We can sell it. We can eventually buy our own dairy, I suppose. It looks like there's a bit of space on the farm to be able to build a couple of small productions. That'll be down the line. And the turn off is just around here somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just off to this house, yeah? Okay, let's go and finish off the harvest quickly and then go and get it started on the next field. Scamp one through here. Here we go. Oh, 
but he's probably going to have to dismiss the worker. Yeah. Let's just do a bit of tidying up quickly. So normally you don't get a lot from the tidying up when you use cosplay. Stop. But because we set it off, I think, in a strange place, we do have quite a bit of bits and pieces left around. Which is a little bit irritating, but we do need to get it done. We are now 11.32. So we've pretty much finished the one field. I think we'll get both fields done in... in the first month or the month of August. So I think certainly during the busy months um, get to keep the episodes to sort of in the 40 minute range um, and um, so it's probably be about two episodes per month and in the winter months probably be one episode a month we just see how far we get before we have to go and we don't have to, but before we go and check out FS25. All very exciting. Of course it means we have to pay Joan some more money. But uh, yeah, that's the nature of the beast. I think, I'm, as I mentioned in one of my other videos in the little couple of one minute odd video that I did, the new maps that came up kind of actually freshened up FS25 and that's why I'm playing this, this map because I kind of feel like we've missed out playing some of these fantastic new maps that have come out. The others I've done the series on on my um, the other interesting maps. There's a couple that I've missed out. New map, first day. I don't think I'll be able to do it on that series. I don't think I'll be able to do every single um, I don't think I'll be able to do every single map. But we'll certainly do the ones that I think are most interesting. If, if there's any you particularly want me to do when you see them come out, just drop us a line. And I'm sure we'll get it sorted out. I'm sure we'll be able to get it sorted out. Where did I park the... Park the... Um, the trailer. That's fantastic. It just shows you how that this is a good map. Is that I was at the one end of the field and I couldn't really see this because it was kind of down the hill. Fantastic. That's the way it should be. I should of course remember where I've parked things. And I was heading in the general in the right direction. Generally I was heading in the right direction. It's what I should have been saying there, I suppose. <laughs> so to get to that other field, we're going to have to put this onto the header trailer, and then we'll just tow it down there with the harvester and get it done. Here's a track, or road stroke track. It's more of a track. It runs down past the fields basically behind us here as we're all floating. 
and um, so what we'll do is we'll get out and we'll get that sorted out and get going and then we'll bring the the trailer back and I think we can fold it up can can't we can't we yep we can right now we got in here so we should be able to get out just if we drive properly we will get out I'm going to swing for the gate before I needed to swing for the gate. Then we'll come and cut this piece of grass here. I think there's a little piece behind those trees over there that we could possibly cut as well. And we'll do some of it as hay and some of it as... Um, grass which we will bale for silage we don't have a silage clamp I don't think on the farm I can't recall seeing it why can't I get to where I should be on this trailer I haven't had that problem for a while about there I think Radio, let's hook up and get going. Just got to go up that track, which is pretty much right in front of us there. The feel of the map is right for European farming. Oh, just look at this track. I'm going to go. Look at that. How fantastic is that? This is actually better in uh, first person driving along here. The track is absolutely fantastic. It's rutted. It's, it's beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see where we are. Oops. Yeah, you can't take your eyes off too much because they've got these rocks kind of strategically placed to to just wake you up if you're messing around. Fantastic. Love it. How many times have I said that now? And it's this track that has kind of just blown, I won't say blown my mind, but just said to me, that's the way it should be. That looks good. Looks great, in fact. Well, what we're going to do is we'll get down to the, to the field. We'll get this ready and then we'll go and empty out the grain trailer and I think that's where we'll end this first episode. There we go. Let's give you the overview of where we've gone now. Another grass field there. So there's lots of grass fields that we can buy up to um, to feed our cattle. We don't have a lot to start with, but there seems to be a lot to buy. I think we'll just we'll park this up here and we'll have a quick look just to see what it looks like in terms of those fields. We, we know it's kind of 20,000 to buy that field. 
which is just as we come out of the farm. Let's just leave that there. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'm just going to unhook. Just going to get this into the... Oh, driven. Got stuck in the trees. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What have I done here? How did I do that? There we go, we got out. My goodness. That was interesting. <laughs> i to kind of have a look and see how did we get up the tree? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, so there's not something you see very often. A floating tree. Don't quite know how that happened. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Uh, Something that probably needs to be fixed up. Right, let's go and get. We'll we'll mow the lawn on the next one. We'll go and offload this quickly. And then we'll just have a look. So we've got. I think we put fifteen thousand into the into the chickens. Got another fifteen thousand going in here now. Um we're gonna load that. Let's have a look and see how much we've got here. Got nineteen thousand in there. Okay, so it's probably about thirty thousand we got off that field. What am I doing? Fourteen eight seven yeah, so let's say fifteen thousand we put in there. Plus the nineteen nineteen thousand, so just under thirty thousand off that field. Great stuff. In any case, I'm going to take this through to the other field, and in the next episode, we will do the second field. We'll get the cows going, and and that will probably be the end of August. I don't know whether we'll get the cows going, but we'll try. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.